Enjoy the tour. Stop by. Arisha. <laughs> I got myself a cup of uh, Pepsi. <laughs> this is the blue squad. That's the red squad. That's the yellow squad. No, that's the red squad. That's the green squad. That's the blue squad. Go for Go blue. Look. That you might drop it. <laughs> exactly. Wait, what the freak is supposed to happen? Can I even record this? While other phrases such as my knight in shining armor conjure up images of long ago, unknown to us, and wow. yet still familiar. And while the images of knights in armor and of castles strong may fade as generations pass, here at medieval times, we believe there is one touchstone from that distant past that should never fade away. And that is the Code of Chivalry. A set of rules created a thousand years ago to govern Chivalry. the conduct of the noble class, so to impart fairness know, right? and respect, compassion, and understanding. Oh. For the next 20 minutes, with the assistance of Her Majesty the Queen, the Chancellor of the Castle, and the Knights of the Realm, along with their retainers, we will explore the Code of Chivalry, and through the lessons taught therein, we hope to show you how that ancient code might become part of your daily life. Oh, wait. This earth is our bond. It's okay. It's, 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 
The focus has to be up. Oh, get better. Saluted a nine-year-old girl who stepped in and put a stop to the bullying incident before it could get out of hand. The diverse group, which was comprised of kids from across the city, raised enough money with the campaign to send tons of food to the stricken region. Their hearts know only virtue. <laughs> How go the preparations for the feast to be held at the tournament? All is being prepared, my lady. As a matter of fact, I've had a meal prepared for you that you might uh, give your approval before it is served to your noble guests. And might I add your grace, the Chancellor has outdone himself. A feast fit for a queen, if ever there was one. Why, thank you, Lord Marshal. Then how could you possibly know? Well, my lord, I may have had a little. I knew it. Just a nibble. Enough talk, my lords. I'm starving. Bring out the feast. May Gwendolyn, her majesty, will die. Here, Majesty, is a feast truly fit for our visiting noble, prepared in our own kitchens. And sure to become another jewel in your crown, a feather in your cap, as it were, another one in the wind column, Your Highness. Oh, hush. Well, put it down, Gwendolyn. Now I am prepared to be amazed. Oh, look out! I you all right, Your Majesty. Useless girl. My lady, your gown. Oh, it's nothing really. Clumsy girl. What backward village have you come from? I warned the master of the household about allowing these ignorant That's peasant girls true. to serve. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, my lady. Yes, Your Majesty, forgive her. The lowborn have no place in your household. I shall have her dismissed at once, and her family shall be taxed to pay for the damage. But Lord Marshal, I don't That think... is out of the question. Are you all right, Gwendolyn? My lady, you don't mean to allow her carelessness to go unpunished? That is exactly what I intend to allow. But the meal which has been prepared so carefully, it's ruined. <laughs> well, it is at that. But it can be made again. Go, child, send someone to clean this up, and tell the master of the household that the queen shall require a new meal to be served. Now, oh, compose yourself, and think no more on this. Well done, Majesty. Your house will go to rack and ruin, my lady, with such as she in your service. A simple mistake, Lord Marshal, quickly forgotten. Let us recognize the contribution of all, regardless of their station in life. And we may recognize also that though mistakes and <laughs> accidents may take place, ours is to forgive and treat those with whom we share our daily lives with respect. Respect, compassion, and understanding. It is well said, Your Majesty. And for my part, I have acted hastily and unfairly. With your permission, my lady, I will take my leave to seek out the serving girl and make right any wrong done. It is wise. And honorable. Make haste, my lord. <laughs> To test your knowledge, we've come up with some questions that we thought would be fun to share with you. Don't be shy. If you think you know the answer, shout it out. We'll give you some choices to think about, but only one will be right. We you call the choices A, B, C, and D. Ready? Here we go. Understanding is a keystone of chivalry in battle. The queen is aware of this and makes it a part of her daily life. How would you have handled the toppled tray and come to the aid of serving her when? A. By being fair to all and protecting the weak. B. By embarrassing the Lord Marshal for his behavior. C. By having the serving girl dismissed from the queen's court. Or D, by ignoring the accident and the remarks of the Lord Marshal and ordering another tray. The correct answer is A. In our society, everyone has a contribution to make, however small. And allowing someone to be demeaned or abused for a mishap is an 
against our code of chivalry. Oh my god. It looks so way cooler in real life. Ew. <laughs> Our blade shall defend the hills. Scoundrels such as this. Let us leave this peasant person who's begging my face for a castle gone in front. It was a rash squire. I'm too quick to the mark. But who is another path that led this man here? Tell me, good fellow, from where do you hail? A small village, your grace, of no consequence. A half day's walk from this very road. The harvest was small, the winter a cruel one. And my children go hungry. I ask only for them, brave knight. No. Night settles all around us, and the road ahead is long. Let us leave this peasant who is begging in the case for the castle down your friend. <laughs> it is true, young man. I am a peasant, and yet I have not always been so. For who has not been brought to circumstance at some time or another that requires us to set aside our pride and to seek food? Shelter or friendship from strangers. Not friendship, silence. Oh, Have you not been taught the lesson of compassion, of understanding? <laughs> you see, charity is the duty of a knight, and it's by our charity to others that we are measured, and through our kindness that we'll one day be remembered. We carry no bread. Like oh, but here, take these coins and use them to provide for your family. <laughs> you are kind, <laughs> sir knight. And my thanks are with you. I... <laughs> you are unwell, and have no shield against the cold. Here, good fellow, take my cloak. I know your grace. Let him take mine. For I have been without pity, and for a moment lost touch with charity and understanding for one less fortunate than I. It is well boosted. <laughs> It is a short journey to the castle of a friend, we will break bread and rest for the evening. Journey with us in the place we gave for you. Very well. Let us away!
understanding, generosity, and charity, yeah. or D, free advice. The correct answer is C. Yeah! I thought you were going to encounter the road. The knight put chivalry into action with his understanding and his charity. Are you all right, young man? Yes, my lord. Leave that. How did this happen? I was tripped from behind, my lord, and fell, breaking the lance. That's a lie. He can't do anything. Just look at him. Take him right in with us. Accusing someone who is in training to become a knight and to one day take the oath, to say they are lying, well, that is a serious accusation. And as for him being different, we are all different. Young man, go to the armory and fetch another lance to replace this one. Nurse, for the rest of you, clean this up. Well, my lord, we didn't make this mess. Why should we be the ones to clean it up? Do as you are told and without further talk. For I suspect some injustice has been done here. Gather up, squires. <laughs> the time has come for us to talk about the oath that each of you hope to take one day. A note that requires you to fight one where you see it and show fairness to all and accept them as they are. But above all else, a solid pledge of honesty. Is that understood? Well said, Lord Marshal. I ask you, young squires, which of you has never made a mistake or a lot wrong to be committed without speaking up? And yet, when we allow the weak to suffer at the hand of the straw, or fail in our oath of fairness to others, and we have failed another part of the oath, and that is that we dare to do right, that we have forgotten that true citizenship and harmony lie our decision to not join in when others are mocked or bullied, and that a refusal to take part in bullying those who we find to be different than ourselves will allow us all to embrace what makes us unique, and not to fear it. One day, if you pass the test of knighthood, you will encounter many people unlike yourselves, people who will look to you for strength, for protection from attack or ridicule, and fairness in your dealings with them. And now, with the lessons held within our code fresh in your minds, tell me again, what happened here? It was I, my lord. And for my role in it, I am ashamed. I do not fear your punishment, Sir Knight, but I have earned it. No, honesty shall not be punished. Many people are afraid of things that are unfamiliar to them, of people and customs they do not understand. But the code of chivalry teaches us to respect one another and treat all to fairness, regardless of our differences. Do you understand? And you, young man, do you understand? I do, my lord. Perhaps if I were to dress in a tunic of like color as the others are dressed, I could fit in. I forbid it, squire. The code of chivalry requires that we practice understanding of our differences and accept each man or woman as unique, including the clothes they wear. Instead, have them don these garments, my lord, is unique. They celebrate diversity and they are united under the same banner. The same banner indeed. One of right over wrong, a fairness and a loyalty. And the bravery to do what is just. It is well said, Your Majesty. Remember, my young lords, what you have learned this day. 
and let it be your guide on your journey to knighthood and long after. Now, make sure the arena's prepared and retire. Okay. That's the end of chivalry. 